I'm going to show two ways of doing this question. First of all, the way I do it is to use the idea of multipliers and percentages, and then I'll show you how you do it without. So let's say the price for tickets is X, and if we increase it by 5%, we actually times by 1.05, because this represents 105%. And if we then decrease it by 20%, we would times by 0.8. And that is equal, that is then four less expensive than its original price. So it's going to be the original price minus four. And I've created an equation. Um, how could we deal with this? Well, I think it's probably best to, to multiply these two um, numbers together. I can do 105 times eight. And I can just think about how to change that after. So that is going to be 840, and therefore 1.05 times 0 0.8 is going to be, just by estimating, I can, like comparing, I can see it's going to be, you know, around 1, it's going to be 0 0.84. So I've got 0.84x is equal to x minus 4. And now I can subtract it from both sides and add 4 to both sides and that's going to leave me with 0.16x is equal to 4. So I'm going to times through by 100, 16x is going to equal 400 and divide by 4, I'm just going to do it step by step, 4x is equal to 100 so I can see that x is equal to 25. Okay so the answer is D and I've used the multiplier root. If you're not familiar with that route, you can still do this question. So let's let's say that I've got, um, I'm actually not going to, am I going to use algebra here? We'll find out. So um, I've got the price of a ticket. I increase it by 5%. That means my new price is 105% of the original one. I'm not going to introduce an X into it for the time being. I then decrease that by 20%. So if I want to find 20% of something, I can actually divide by 5. So I can do 1 fifth of 105, which is the same as dividing 105 by 5. That's going to be 21. So I'm going to have my 105% and I'm going to actually minus 21% from it to give me 84%. You can see the similarities. I've not used multipliers, but I've got actually 0.84. So then I've got 84% um, and that is £4 less expensive than the original price which means that 16% is going to have to be 4 because the original price was 100%. So the, the difference is 16% and the difference here is £4. Um, now I can find, you know, again, this is, this is actually exactly the same as this, but without using multipliers or algebra, I can find, I want to find 1% essentially, but um, I can do that by find actually I don't even need to, I can just find 4% by dividing by 4. 4% is 1, and so if I want 100, well 1% would be a quarter, but it's best now to just times by 25. 100% is going to be 25. So two different routes, um, both worth being aware of I'd say.